Hello, my name is Tasha. Welcome to Peppold and the month of March and our picture book of the month, which is, of course, Leaf, written and illustrated by Sandra Diekmann. Wonderful picture book. By now, I am sure you've watched Sandy's and Gail's film. I work in primary teacher education here in the Netherlands, so I'm going to share a few of my ideas. Now, I think this picture book is fantastic to practice the skill of noticing. Noticing is something very useful uh, when you're learning new language. I'll put a link to the British Council, to one of the British Council website um, pages as well, so you can read a little bit more about noticing if you're interested. And yeah, so that is what I would do with my student teachers. I have gone through this book and what I noticed was an a great range of phrasal verbs. So I came across carry upon, stomp around, stomp back, tumble down, look around, call out, jump off. So I thought, oh, this would be interesting. Let's get student teachers to make a list of all the phrasal verbs first. What I also noticed were uh, the adjectives. Um, lovely range of adjectives. Dark, wild, overgrown, odd, lost, dangerous. And I thought, oh, again, quite interesting to make a list of those and see what they notice about these adjectives and perhaps how they could be grouped or if they find opposites. So that was my first idea about noticing. The second thing I would like students to do is to work a little bit with visual literacy. Sandy and Gail have both mentioned the crows. What I would like them to do is look at the position of the crows. Where are they and what are they doing? And see what they can learn by looking at where they are positioned. And another thing I would like them to look at are the eyes of the polar bear. Now the eyes I find are, uh, you can see here, it's very interesting to look at the polar bear's eyes because I think, and here you can see some tears, I think it will give a lot of insight into how the um, polar bear is feeling. And again, we could link that back to the adjective. And let's see where we have got. So here, look, when he, is, uh, he was washed up on the shore. So those were my two ideas to work on noticing, looking at language and also visual literacy, and then later on moving on to seeing to see what kind of activities could we um, create. Those were my ideas. I wish you a lovely end of March and I will see you in April again. Bye.